Welcome to AVP 100, Lecture 1. In this lecture, I'm going to be talking a lot about just things to be thinking about going forwards. Things that are important to you to understand and have an appreciation for moving forward as you're going through your degree and going into your career. Rule number one. You need to protect your ears. Your ears are your tools. They, there is nothing more important for you to have good quality than ears. And you can't buy them in a store. You can't take them to get repaired. Once you have them, they have them. Once they're damaged, that's it. Excessive volume is deadly to ears. It can cause permanent hearing loss. And so rule with this, just keep it down. I know people say crank it up, but you can hear it plenty loud without having to have it cranked up too loud. Um, another thing that you need to know uh, is that earbuds are killer. They are among the worst. If you're going to listen to, to music, with you want to use headphones, preferably good headphones that have the muffs that cover the entire ear. Those are the best to get. Earbuds are worse. The frequencies that they emit are very harsh, and they're sent into the ear canal in a very inappropriate way. And over extended periods of time, even with light volume, they will cause permanent damage. So your ears are the only set of ears that you have. You need to protect them. All right, Off that soapbox and moving on. Controlling the volume can be hard, but there has never been a better time to listen to music than there is right now, though. So much is available to the internet that you could listen to for every minute of the rest of your life, and you would only have gotten to about 10% of what is out there. Sites like Pandora or YouTube allow us never-before-known no opportunities to discover sounds and new music. That being said, what kind of music do you love? Why? I want you to take a moment, maybe pause the video if you need to, and think about what music do you love? And what is it about it that draws you into it? Is it the melody? Is it the craft? Is it the pace? Or is it the lyrics and what they're saying? Think to yourself and ask yourself what, why. A lot of it based off of history, too, in terms of what your parents liked or maybe didn't like. Now, what music do you hate? And why? Take a moment again to think about this. I want you to ask yourself, is it again, is it the lyrics what they're or what they are saying in the music? Is it the lack of craft that you perceive? Is it a kind of instrument that you don't like? Is it a history you know, connected to it, maybe, maybe personal or otherwise. Think to yourself, you know, why do you hate a specific kind of music? And I know lots of people may say, I love all kinds, but that's not true. There has to be something out there that you at least like the least. And ask yourself, why is that? Now, while you're asking yourself that, think about that somebody out there must like it, or else the music would not have ever been made in the first place. So, you need to listen when you're in those situations and not just hear the music. You need to listen and find a way into the music. You need to find a way to understand why other people like that music, why somebody took the time and heart and energy to create that music. You need to find a way in. You always need to. Why? Why should you? Well, if you're taking this class, why are you studying audio and video production in the first place? Part of it, I'm sure, is a strong interest in it, but hopefully, ultimately, you want to work in this industry. You want to make your living from being in this industry. Well, do you think every job will be a dream job 
working for you know your favorite dream artist right here or are you going out and creating your own work right out the bat no uh, fortunately unless you are extremely lucky you will have to take jobs you don't like or you will have to pay your dues work going up the ladder you will have to take jobs for people that you may not like yes you will if you want to keep working and enjoy what you do you must find a way to appreciate the works that may not be your favorite this goes back to finding that way in if you don't your work will definitely suffer and people that hired you won't hire you again so I want you to challenge yourself for the next week I want you to listen to nothing but a type of music that you hate for one week and try to understand it and I mean nothing but a type of music you hate all right for your next discussion board post describe what that experience was like and compare it to what you expected the experience to be like then po the post should be at least 100 words and I want you to go in detail on this and I want you to as I said, listen to only a type of music that you hate and nothing else. And try and listen to it for at least 15 or 20 minutes a day, if not more. And the entire time, try and find something in there. Maybe it's the rhythm, maybe it's the beat, or maybe you never really listened, maybe you never really listened to the lyrics before, and something there is getting across to you. But I want you to try for the next week and then post on what the experience was like. And that's it.